Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to the final episode of Disc 1 of The Legend of Dragoon. This is going to be a big, big episode, and I hope you guys are ready because we have some fights. So, in the last episode, we unlocked, got all of these stones, and unlocked the statue that is sitting before us. And uh, I also did some off-screen off training. If you will see, Dart is now level 16. Albert is now level 15. Rose is now level 15. Dart's Dragoon level is also level 4 now, uh, which isn't a big deal. And Albert's Dragoon level 3, he has a new magic attack called Gaspless. Uh, also, I want to point out that I got Crush Dance to 62 for Dart, so it's pretty good. Not as good as Volcano, but still, I'm going to use it just because uh, I don't think that makes that big of a difference. Rose, it has more and more, which is weaker than Whip Smack, but we're going to be training it. It's almost level 5, so might as well just keep going. And we're going to keep Albert with Rod Typhoon, uh, because that is the one that I can get down consistently. It gives a lot of SP, and it's at 202%, so it's better than spinning cane. So might as well just go ahead and use Rod Typhoon on Albert. So that is going to be our team going into whatever lies before us. So why don't we make sure you're saved, make sure you're healed up, make sure you got some, some stuff on, some good physical defense. I recommend it, and let's go into the statue and use the final elevator of disc one. Hmm. What, isn't that so cool? The statue literally, re like, reveals... Oh, I love it. A secret area. Look at how cool this area is. Oh, man. So why don't we head up here? Uh-oh. What? Stay back. I smell blood in this air. It's not human. Congle! What? No way! Gigantos don't lose twice. Gigantos make payback for hoax for his majesty doll. That's right, my friends. We get to face Kongle yet again. And he has made some improvements to stop us, including wearing some armor. And uh, still has the earth element and HP 1025. That is why it is very, very required that you can take a punch and that you can dish one out because again, he will counterattack. So we want to make sure that we don't mess anything up. Now, the first thing that we're going to do and why Rose is in my party and why I don't recommend Shayna is we do want to hit him with magic right away because he's earth. We want to hit him with something like spinning Gale. This is going to be super, super strong against him. Shayna would do more damage, but eventually Kongol here is actually going to put up a magic shield that's going to reduce any magic damage that we do to him. 253 damage out of, out, of, uh, out of Rose. Beautiful. Now, Dart is just going to go ahead and attack because we don't have to worry about uh, any of the counterattacks as long as we land our additions perfectly, which I didn't. <laughs> I swear that's the first time that happened. I did that on purpose to show you that he would do 31 damage to me. All right. Albert, though, is going to be the guy that's going to carry us in this fight because he has the Twister Glaive, which does wind-based element damage. <laughs> 172 with Rod Typhoon out of Albert because he has the Twister Glaive. So incredibly strong. You'll see a lot of attacks that he's used before. We're actually not even going to use any Dragoon magic either because we do have another fight after this, of course. 222 damage to poor Rose. That is pretty significant. Uh-oh. Rose might be going down fairly soon. We are actually going to use a, another... Why don't we go ahead and use... Uh... Hmm. Hmm. We're going to use some Spear Frost against Kongol here. One hundred and eighty-four percent, two hundred and thirty-nine damage. Who needs wind-based stuff? We do actually. Look at how strong Albert is against Kongol. I love it. So I'm expecting that magic shield very, very soon. We already have Kongol in the red. First 
89 damage out of dart, which is not enough to really do much. Good, good. Yes, hit dart. Do not hit Rose, please. All right, we're going to end up attacking with Rose. 77 damage. Down goes Kongle. That was not that hard, my friends. Yeah, we got it. The War God Calling. That is an item, my friends, that has a very rare drop chance of dropping off of our dear friend here, Kongle. But listen, we did it, and that's all that matters. And I'm proud of us. <laughs> we did good, team. We did real good. It is, in fact, a 30% drop chance. So you probably don't have to reload and do this fight that many times. But also, if you're using magic like I was and, and, and uh, Albert with his Twister Glaive, you're probably going to do this fight very, very quickly and easily every time you do it. Oh, nice, Rose. Gigantos with strongest armor lost. Me, brother of hero, has pride, cannot live in disgrace. Kill me. As you wish. Stop it. The game is already over. Game. Don't be silly. This is a matter of life or death. It's over. He cannot fight. Hm. Hope your sweetness won't kill you. Oh, I think Rose is mad at us. Are we letting Kongles live? Me lost. Why are you kind to me? Oh, buddy. Guys, all right, pay attention to this part because right behind here, do not go into that room. There is a chest and it contains a exclusive one-time only item, the material shield. This is the only, only place in time that you can get it. So if you don't get it now, you lose it forever. Okay, just want to point that out. The War God Calling. Automatic additions. Half damage and half SP. But you do get automatic additions in case that's something you were wondering. But it is rare to get it off of him, so I figured that this is a good time. The automatic addition, half damage and SP. You do not get credit towards leveling up your addition with it, though. So uh, if you use it, you are not going to get credit for it. So just keep that in mind. That's for, like, if you're really, really, really not good. You know? It's like if you're really, really not good. All right, and the Material Shield nullifies physical attacks for three turns. It is a repeat item. You can use it as many times as you want. It does not go away, just like the Magic Six Stone and Pandemonium. Very, very, very worth getting. All right, so before we continue any for further, we're going to go back, heal up, and save. All right. Now that you've saved, it's time, my friends. But first, let me talk to you a little bit about my setup. You may be noticing that the old man has joined the party and Rose has been removed. That's right. Hashel, my man, is in the party. And that, my friends, is because he is ridiculously fast. I also gave him his second uh, addition here. Even though he hasn't, I haven't leveled up his additions at all. He's still going to be better than Rose. And that, my friends, is the Flurry of Sticks. It's pretty easy to nail down. Hopefully, I can do it without too much trouble. Now, uh, I am going to go in with Albert. And that is mostly because I feel like Albert should be the one in this fight. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it makes most sense for, for Albert to be the one brawling. You know? I, it makes sense to me. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and give Hashel here... Uh, actually, let's take the bandit's ring away from Albert because instead we're going to give him the spirit cloak so that hopefully he can avoid some of those magic attacks since they do a ton of damage to him. And we're going to give uh, Hashel here, we're actually going to give him the bandit's ring, which is going to make him even faster, which is how he becomes so powerful. Okay, everybody's healed up. We're good to go. Hashel's losing, missing a little bit of health, but that's okay. All right, it is time for us to go and face Emperor Dole, the final boss of Disc 1. That's right. The final boss of Disc 1 is the antagonist of the entire game, as far as we know, as of right now. It, it, unless, you, unless you don't talk about that platinum-haired guy, Lloyd. Anyways, let's continue up here past the crying the crying giganto and let's head in to Duel's throne room and take him down. 
Guys, this is exciting, exciting stuff. I wonder how you could come all the way here, silly daredevils. <laughs> it moves! That's cool. You must be Dole. Uncle, do you remember me? I am the son of your late brother, Albert. You remind me of Carlo 20 years ago. A bloodstained corpse in front of me. Why did you kill him? Why did you have to divide Sergio by killing my father? To save Sergio from an incapable leader named Carlo. And now, my hands are about to give birth to the new Sergio. Birth? What you are doing is only destructive. Yes, you have given birth to sorrow, pain, agony, and our anger. Tell me, why did you have Shayna taken away? Oh, you're talking about Lloyd's conspiracy? Finds the girl by the time the moon that never sets waxes. All is ordered by the reborn Emperor Diaz. Lloyd is a mere pawn, along with the dragoons. Silly. Emperor Diaz died in the Dragon Campaign as a human hero. <laughs> I don't care whether you believe it or not. It won't make any difference to the reality. You thought you would defeat me with greater numbers, right? Come! I'll send you to your father's place! Uncle! Dole! Here we go, guys! This is it! The final battle of Disc 1, and it is against Emperor Dole himself. Who's gonna come out on top? Who's going to win? Uh, me. And hopefully you, if you're playing alongside. All right, team. Here we go. We are against Duel. In his first form, he only has about 600 health. So I do not recommend... What is his second form, you ask? Don't worry about it. But he does. He is thunder-based. Uh, so they're... You're not really weak to anything. So let's just smack him as hard as we can. And during this one, I wouldn't worry use dragoons. Nothing like that. Just... Just hit him. Just, just kind of, just kind of touch it. Hit him around. All right, Hashel's turn. Oops, I missed my first edition on screen with Hashel. That's embarrassing. 61 damage from Duel. He does very, very little right now, team. So I wouldn't worry about it. 161 damage out of Albert, which is why we choose Albert over Roche. There's the flurry of sticks. Even though in combat, it says fairy of sticks. Now, even with that being so low, it actually only does six damage less than Rose would do right now against him, which is why I uh, am using Hashel instead. As well as the fact the Emperor Dole is very fast, Hashel will make it so that we can at least like survive. Like he can use healing potions, whatever else we need when we need it. There we go. Oh, that did nothing. 68 damage. All right, Hashel. God, I am so bad right now. Ugh, if you want to play tough, I can play that way too. What does it mean? Guys, get ready for a big reveal. That, my friends, is the Violet Dragon. The power of the Violet Dragon, the Thunder Dragoon. That's right, Emperor Duel has been a Dragoon this whole damn time. So we're right now going to use our drag Dragon form on uh, on Albert. Yeah. This is when I would recommend using your Dragoon form. Do not use it before this at all. And try to get out of it as quickly as you can. In Albert's case, we're going to hit him with Gaspless, which we haven't seen yet, but it's very, very strong. 100% wind damage to a single enemy. And it's beautiful to boot. Gaspless. And it sounds good. Albert's so cool. I actually love Albert a lot. This is also when Rose starts seeing her decline as a party member, honestly. 282 damage out of Albert. Absolutely crazy. Now, in this Dragoon form, Dole here has 1,800 health. 
which is quite a bit. All of his defenses go up. And this is his most powerful attack that he can use. It hits everybody for a tremendous amount of damage. My hope, though, is that because Albert has the Spirit Cloak, maybe he'll dodge this. And because Hashel is also Thunder-based, this doesn't do as much damage as it would to Rose. Yet again, making him a prime candidate for this fight. Not bad. Only 114 damage to Hashel. All right, we're also going to jump into Dragoon form here on Dart, who is a level 4 Dragoon, by the way, which actually might hurt us here, but we'll see. Absolutely beautiful, Dart. You're such a handsome man. All right. Drag two Dragoons against one Dragoon. We'll see who wins. Now, we do have a... Um, we could potentially do Final Burst. Uh, let's actually go ahead. Yeah, let's use Final Burst. It won't do as much as Gaspless did, but it will do a reasonable amount. 75% to, to a single target. These animations are so long, but so cool. I love them. I just leave, I love the like lava rift that it leaves underneath him. Yeah. 303, wait a minute. That did way more than I thought it would. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit him with Hashel now. Flurry of sticks. 84 damage. But because of how often Hashel actually gets to attack, it does better than Rose does. Trust me, I've actually tested it right now. Even though he's lower level, even though his additions aren't as leveled up, it's pretty wild. All right, so we're going to attack Dole right now. Oh, I messed that up. The reason why is because we're going to save our MP for Rose Storm whenever he does his bubble. So what's going to happen here is Dole, when he gets to about half health, is going to put a shield around him. If you attack it, he will extend the shield, so it'll stay on him longer. So we don't want that at all. We're gonna hit him with, uh, we're, yeah, I mean, yeah. If we can do a final burst again with 303 damage, we're gonna do that. Now you could use magic against Dole, but he does have pretty high magic defense and I just don't really think it's worth it. Spear Frost does do a considerable amount of damage, but really only if you have a Rose. Who I think is just too slow and too squishy at this point. Another 303 damage. Beautiful dart. All right, he's at half health, which means he'll be putting a shield around himself very, very shortly. Flurry of sticks. Flurry of sticks. Here it is. That is a shield that we cannot attack, which we're kind of in a position which kind of stinks. Uh, Dart still has two attacks and he has to use them. So that's unfortunate. So we're Rose going Storm. to use Albert to do Rose Storm so he doesn't extend the shield and is able to give us three rounds, three turns of damage reduction. Very, very strong against somebody as as powerful as Emperor Duel. Now, Emperor Duel is really fast and can attack numerous times, and all of his attacks are random. So he can use his most powerful one three times in a row, and there's not much you can do about it. But having that damage reduction from Rose Storm and people guarding because the shield is up means we'll probably be in an okay position. So I have to attack his dart. I'm just going to let it hit once. No reason to let it hit more than that. It's going to do zero no matter what. And he's going to use a magic ability on us now. He can either use a multi-target or a single target. The single target does a lot of damage. The multi does... It's okay. Unfortunately, Albert did not dodge it. And he wasn't guarding, so he did get hit pretty hard by that. And we're going to wrap up Dart's Dragoon form now. 
It's a waste, you hear Duel say. All right, that's fine. Let's get him out of there. So that actually works against us in this fight. That Dragoon is, uh, that Dart is level four Dragoon. Actually works against us, which is which is very strange. Uh, so again, do not attack, just keep guarding. You can also use some healing potions if you need them, whatever you need right now. It is, of course, the end of disc one, so feel free to use some items. And this is his AOE, big one that you've seen before, does a tremendous amount of damage, but my boy Albert, not only is guarding, but he's gonna block this one. He's gonna evade it. He's gonna miss. You guys ready? Come on, Albert. Don't let me. Don't make me a liar, my dude. Don't make me a liar. Our second dragoon fight of the game, by the way. Isn't it interesting that? Yeah, Albert. He didn't make me a liar. Isn't it interesting that Dole is thunder based and Hashel is thunder based? Hmm. I wonder. Everybody else is a Dragoon except for... Hmm, I don't know. I wish that meant his shield was down, but it does not. Yet, see what I mean? He's hitting us again with the AoE one. We'll be okay, though, because uh, Albert's going to miss this one, too. I'm just kidding. He probably won't. But imagine! What a cool attack, though. Isn't it so awesome? Like, I just love when he charges in there with his blades and then this, like, singularity comes down. Yeah, Albert, my guy, dude. That is my guy. That is the power of the spirit cloak, by the way. Good thing we have that equipped. Now, Rose would actually be taking considerably more damage than Hassel is right now. Oh, there we go. Shield is gone. It is time to wrap this up, team. Oh, why did it move like that? Oh, I hate that. I hate that, like, sideways view. Rod Typhoon. 134 damage out of Albert. So strong. All right, Hashel already has another turn. Look at how fast Hashel is, man. Take that, glory of sticks. So he gets two turns for every one that Rose would have gotten? Yes. I really, really... Really want our dear friend Albert to finish this off. Uh oh. 144 damage. Jeez Louise. All right, Hashel. Are you the one finishing it? No. Dart is? Let's go, Dart. Come on, man. Let's wrap up disc one. Is that it? Yeah! Emperor Dole has been defeated, my friends. You have become strong. Huh. Uncle. What you should know is not the past, but the future. Pursue Lloyd. He is in the western country of Tiberoa. Tiberoa. He, he knows everything. Go and find out about the world, about everything. The Spirit of the Violet Dragoon. And we get 200 gold, 3,000 experience, and no, there is no items that you can get from this. Everybody just leveled up in the party, and just Rose that's not in the party. No one got any new additions or anything. What a waste!
My uncle's, uh, Emperor Dole's ambitions are over. It places an end to this ceaseless long war that has divided Sergio into two. This is the end of our journey, everyone. Not yet. It's not over yet. This journey began when Shayna was taken away. Then Lavitz was killed, and Lloyd headed for Tiberoa, leaving the mystery about Shayna behind. I have no idea how to say that country name. I am pursuing Lloyd. I'll make him explain everything. I'll go with you. I still don't know anything about Virage or what was said by Emperor Diaz. My journey cannot end like this. I'll go with you, Dart. My journey cannot end either. Whatever conspiracy the man is forming, the Moon Gem is one of the keys. Hollowed object concealing the magic power of the ancient Winglies. We have to stop it before it ignites a catastrophe in Tiberoa. I'll go with you to Ty Tiberoa. <laughs> I'll give up my status as king for a while and live as a dragoon instead. Lavitz would have completely agreed. Rose, how about you? I told you, I'm interested in you guys. So, besides, you feel naked without me, don't you? If Rose is going, that's the end of my role. Hmm. Hatchel, where are you going? This is... Hatchel was gonna leave us? Dude, really? Oh. When dragoons meet, blood will flow, and as they leave, time does slow. It's your choice to leave your fate behind. The question is answered. Dragoon spirits are leading us. And Hashel has become the new Violet Dragoon. Do we want to save? Yes, we do. That, my dear beautiful friends, is the end of disc one. That's it. It's over. We went in at level 15 with Dart, leaving at level si fi uh, 17. And that is chapter two. Uh, okay. Ch that is chapter two. The Platinum Shadow. I won't insert disc two yet. This is also on PlayStation 3, so I just have to like hit the button and then switch disc to two. But it's fine. That is the end of this episode, the end of disc one. We will continue at the beginning of chapter two, The Platinum Shadow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a doozy. And I'm very excited to bring it out to you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, I'm loving this series. It's so much fun and so good. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Check out patreon.com slash online if you want to support the channel. $3 a month and you get a whole bunch of benefits. Uh, you can also check me out on twitch.tv slash online where I stream almost every day. Uh, and uh, I think that's it. Thank you guys. Leave a comment below letting me know uh, what you think of that final boss fight. Was it difficult for you if you've ever played this game? Uh, or did it look difficult at all? Uh, anyways, Hashel is super strong and uh, never give up. Never surrender to Lloyd. Tiboroa. 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 I don't know. <laughs>